SCOTUS stands for Waters of the United States. It's a regulation currently under development by the United States Environmental Protection Agency that will dramatically expand the meaning of federal jurisdiction under the Clean Water Act. It's actually the most sweeping rulemaking the agency has yet to engage in under the Act. It's going to set the boundaries of federal jurisdiction for the Act, meaning it's going to define what types of water features and water bodies are under federal control which is going to subject people to new federal permitting requirements under the Act. Now for the regulated community, if companies own, if they own property, if they own or operate standalone facilities, or if they have plans to increase and, or develop new facilities or new intermittent projects, they're going to be potentially affected by this rule. For a specific example, let's talk about businesses that have on-site waters. By that I mean industrial ditches, stormwater ditches, stormwater ponds, fire ponds, any surface impoundment of water, you're going to be affected by this rule and subject to new federal permitting requirements. New permitting requirements increase compliance costs, they increase timelines for, um, for project development, in terms of the length of time it takes for the federal reviews that will be triggered under NEPA, under the Endangered Species Act. Importantly, this is going to increase enforcement risk, both from the federal uh, EPA and from citizen activist groups.